Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Ahmad Nafiz bin Norizan and I am a person in charge to tell you more about our company. Our company's name is Aerotology Sunia Berhad. Our company is a private limited company which are doing some research and producing high class drone technology device thanks to a wealth of engineering experience from our founder which has brought knowledge in devices and technologies involving in computer software, designing and electrical principle. We are determined to work with our global partners to support and develop drone technology, particularly for agriculture-related endeavors, as part of the global drive to create a modern future through the efficient utilization technology and the reduction of worker strain in this modern era. Since its establishment in 2017, Aeros Technology has been engaged in the design, feasibility study, procurement, manufacture and installation of specialized agriculture drone equipment. Aerotechnology is a prominent player in the agri-industry sectors and has a commendable name in the agricultural industries in Malaysia. Our company is also a spare part provider and training institution for the agriculture drone. Also, we have been accredited with the International Quality Certificate to complement our promise to provide high quality and competitive products and services. Our company is located at Bandar Serenia, Dunkir, Selangor, widely considered as a very strategic logistic hub and approximately close to the Aviation Hub Kuala Lumpur International Airport and Industrial Park, KLIA. Aerostology benefits from the direct accessibility to the suppliers, raw material and engineering. Innovation is needed to stay relevant in a competitive market. Innovation is not only a necessary requirement for organization success in the commercial world, but also for its survival in highly competitive market. Due to COVID-19, Malaysia's economy has shifted to more no-contact businesses. As a result, the field labor is constrained to some extent by strict standard operating procedure (SOP). As a company, we see this as a chance to improve and develop the existing drone to better suit our agricultural expertise. Traditionally, the process of seeding requires a lot of manpower and high time consuming as it uses old fashioned equipment such as tractors, shovels, and bare hand. The drone was invented while the smart spray system is equipped to limit the human contact with the fertilizers, pesticides, and other harmful chemicals that are dangerous. Besides, innovation can integrate the future technologies in agriculture industry. Water, fertilizers, and pesticides will no longer be applied consistently over entire field in agriculture 4.0. Instead, farmers will utilize the bare minimum of resources and focus on extremely particularly locations only. Because of technological improvements such as sensors, devices, machines, and information technology, farms and agriculture activities will have to be run significantly different. Robots, temperature and moisture sensors, aerial images, and GPS technology will all be used in the future of agriculture. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Faris Saikal bin Rosman, and I'm going to briefly explain on the existing product. So the existing product is drone. Uh, as I'm in the group for Aeros Technology Senaramhat. So I'm going to briefly explain on one by one of the components of the drones. So first of all is the propellers. So the propellers is used to fly the drone. So the main material for propellers is plastic as it is causing low low cost and worth for the normal drone. So the plastic is also much lighter and robust for the drone even the drone is bigger and larger in terms of size so the second one is the pusher propeller so the pusher propeller is located at the front of the drone and used to move and backward during the drone flying and the, that is the term in the determined for the direction of the drone so the type of material for the propeller is carbon fiber which is help the drone more move more precisely and accurate. So the third one is the brushless motor. So the brushless motor is uh, located underneath the propeller since the component is the simplest component that could be embedded into the drone. So the function of this brushless motor uh, it is to reduce cost on the maintenance of drones 
in terms of hardware necessary meaning the brushes motto design are simple and produce a better efficiency performance for the motto where the battery consumption uh, could save up more and lifespan battery could be sustained so the fourth one is the landing gears so the landing gears will allow the drone to land safely to the ground so drone which require high ground clearance during landing will require more modification landing gear to allow it to land safely on the ground so the fifth one is the electronic speed controllers uh, ESC so the ESC is mainly located in the mainframe of the drone so the function is to monitor and control the speed uh, of the drone during the flight so the component is used to convert the DC power from power source which is using DC battery to fly a drone to AC power to distribute the AC supply to the brushes motor which is rotating the propellers so the seven is the receiver so the receiver or antenna is used to receive a radio signal to the controller the eight is transmitter so the transmitter is used to transmit the radio signal to the drone from the controller to communicate with the drone so uh, normally the normal drone consists of four channels of the transmitter for the communication of the data between receiver and transmitter so last but not least is the camera so for this drone the camera is is is, is already built in to the drone and help the user to capture image to the top while fly the drone so the user can also monitor the picture from the remote control as it is displayed to the remote control and the camera will capture the view and send the information and data collected by the camera to the transmitter in the remote control so next uh, i will explain on the description of the product so the drone or unnamed aerial vehicle uav is an, an, an aircraft that doesn't have crew passenger or pilot to lacerate the aircraft on board like a helicopter or aeroplane so the drone is piloting by human using the remote control which is the remote control have various function such as autonomous drone and it is usually the main feature is piloting and navigating the drone besides that so the drone is an, an advanced technology uh, for the aviation field where everyone could have a drone to play in the recreational park use drone to shoot a film by capture the image from the top view and military purposes okay so this is the main problems or weakness for this product it has three main problems as you can see here so for the first one is limit, limitless of existing drone it means the existing agriculture drone normally used for recreational hobby and surveillance purposes so the implementation of drone technology into agriculture industry can be used to increase the production output of agriculture se sector so the drone also will combine with a few features that we will helping to reduce the burden of uh, farmers so this drone is limited to agriculture use such as fertilizer spraying, uh, pesticide and surveillance to observe which crop areas are attacked by pests. So the second one is the drone are affected by the weather. So the uh, uh, certainly on uh, weather might affect to the drone where sometimes it could be rainy, cloudy, windy and dry. So if the weather is raining, the visual of the camera of the drone is unclear and getting blurry due to the full of fog are covered the camera and the user cannot capture the image especially for those who are shooting film, taking a photography for their work. So the third one is the drone can fly in a short period. So the drone is using the dry shell battery and for the time being the power consumption of the drone is increasing due to the greater load of the drone. Uh, this means by the battery need to replace frequently as the period of 
flight is less than one hour. So as per mentioned, on the first weaknesses, the windy condition may power up the consumption of the battery as the drone need more energy and force to resist in the air. So next one is the reason why the product needs to be innovated. For this agriculture spraying, it will help to decrease human exposure to toxic chemicals such as fertilizer, pesticides, and other substances that are damaging to humans, uh, particularly the respiratory system. So the drone will completely complete this duty for the farmer fa faster and more efficient than any vehicle. And it is also will be a wonderful alternative for farm that still rely on manual labor. So that is all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Mohaimi. I will explain about the type of innovation. The type of innovation for the agriculture drone is architectural. Uh, the drone categorized as architectural innovation because it works with the Internet of Things IoT. Basically, the fundamental and the component of the agriculture drone seen as the surveillance drone. But for the agriculture drone, the design and function was changed to fulfill the requirement for the agriculture purpose. The Internet of Things or IoT can be integrated into the agriculture drone to help improving the agriculture industry. The agriculture drone works like a robot which is designed to work uh, like a human. The agriculture robot such as drone um, which is designed to work like a human can be used for an incredible number of tasks to ease the burden of the farmers. So the agriculture robot such as drone can tackle the labor intensive repetitive physically demand tasks. With the implementation of Internet of Things IoT in the agriculture drone, it will help to control uh, the drone easier to control, efficient and provide the accurate and real-time data to the farmers. The technology include the agriculture drone such as high resolution camera will help the farmers to do mapping and analysis through the photo or video captured by the drone. So this kind of innovation help the farmers to improve their crop management in order to increase the agriculture efficiency. For the product categories, the agriculture drone categorized as a improvement product categories. The agriculture drone falls under improvement categories because of some of the parts and components are already exist in the market. Improvement of the sprinkle. In Aeros technology, we are using dual sprinkle system which is the sprinkle system will provide wider distribution of fertilizer and pesticide. So it will increase the fertilizing or pes uh, pesticide efficiency spraying, reduce the time of spraying and save the energy. The sprinkle system in the agriculture drone will reduce the human contact with the fertilizer or pesticide pesticide that dangerous to the human health. In terms of cropping purpose, the agriculture drone will equip uh, with the camera with the resolution up to 20 megapixel and 5.4K video resolution. So the technology improvement will help the farmer in monitoring and planning their crop. So this is the code for production of one unit agriculture drone each agriculture drone cost about 16,950 ringgit however the cost is exclude the labor cost and overhead cost Assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Rafiuddin bin Muhammad Razali I will be explaining about the details of our product which is algae cultural drone 
The dimension of the product is 120 cm in length, 120 cm in width, and 15 cm in height. The purpose of the product is to help decrease human exposure to toxic chemicals such as fertilizers, pesticides, and other substances that are damaging to humans, particularly the respiratory system. The drone will complete the, this duty for farmers faster and more efficiently than any other vehicle. It will be also a wonderful alternative for farmers that still rely on manual labor. The product is fully controlled via smart controller. The movement of the drone include the spray of the liquids and movement of the camera all will be controlled via by the specialist. Firstly, the, bat the battery of the drone need to be installed to the drone then connect the drone to the controller Wi-Fi. Secondly, make the calibration between the drone and the controller which need to set RTH which is return to home. The purpose of set, set up the RTH return to home is to set the GPS that has been attached to the drone must be linked to the smart controller. After all setting have been made, then the agricultural drone is ready to fly safely. The first upgrade that has been made to the existence drone is the addition of the storage tank from single tank to dual tank. The second upgrade of the drone is the addition of 360 degree of high, defici high definition camera which will help to fully view the scenery. The last upgrade to the agricultural drone is the addition of the liquid sprinkler underneath each of this propeller. The use of the liquid propellers are for spraying the fertilizers, pesticides and other substances. That's all three upgrades that have been added to our agriculture drone as the innovation to the drone. The IR 4.0 technology elements that has been implemented to our agriculture drone is improvement. Our agriculture drone falls under the improvement category where we choose to make import improvement to the parts that are already available on our drone. The improvements such as bigger brushless motor to get power and torque so that the drone can do faster. That's all the purpose, process and details of our innovation of the agricultural drone. Assalamualaikum and good morning. Uh, first, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Mama Hakim bin Mama Sahih. Uh, from BMT students. Uh, I am uh, one of the members in uh, Aerospace Technology Corporation which is uh, offering uh, an agriculture drone and then this drone is more focusing to the uh, agriculture sector. Okay so today I am going to present to you about the target markets which is this is one of the important uh, as a seller before we are selling the our product to the to the customers so basically uh, what is what is target market so target market is a process of uh, of the seller to find a potential customer in order to fulfill the customer needs and the customer desire in their uh, in their application life. Okay, next uh, I am going to tell you about what kind of the benefit that customer could get from our product. So, uh, based uh, on the our product, which is drone, this drone is assist uh, first is assist the the workers, and then the work uh, it require uh, less uh, human effort. To the workers, where uh, the workers only uh, could monitor, but could monitor their crops uh, through the uh, drone, and then uh, uh, for your information, the drone has a navigation system, and also they have a camera which is could could monitor and uh, could monitor and. Uh, uh, assist the workers uh, for their to to preserve their crops and then to enhance their productions and then the second one is uh, minimize the time consumption 
this is important for a company to produce uh, and to increase their production and then to export to the uh, the products and then uh, this could help uh, the workers in terms of the time uh, in the time of management whereby uh, they they uh, they don't need they don't need to monitor the crops every day every time and and then uh, they could uh, monitor their crops uh, at least once a week and then this also uh, uh, could uh, assist the work the the workers who are who are preserving the uh, agriculture production